Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. What is going on in Bakhmut and why does Russia need to win? Russian soldiers are slowly edging closer in their attempt to seize the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. Troops are pummeling the city with artillery in an attempt to prize it from Ukrainian hands and complete Moscow's goal of capturing the entire Donbas region. Taking Bakhmut would rupture Ukraine's supply lines and open a route for Russian forces to press on toward Kramatorsk and Slovyansk, key Ukrainian strongholds in Donetsk province. The line of contact is now on the city's outskirts, with mercenaries from the Wagner Group, a shadowy Russian military company, reported to be leading the charge. Partial mobilization of Russian reservists complete. Today, the Kremlin has claimed the partial mobilization of hundreds of thousands of Russian reservists announced in September is now complete. Sergei Shoigu, the Russian defense minister, said 82,000 mobilized recruits are already in Ukraine, while 218,000 are completing training. The mobilization largely related to those with prior military experience. However, it prompted thousands of young Russian men to flee the country. Canada raising money for Ukraine with sale of bonds. Canada will sell a government-backed five-year bond to raise money for Ukraine, it announced on Friday. It will also impose new sanctions on 35 Russian individuals, including Gazprom executives. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said, Canadians will now be able to go to major banks to purchase their sovereignty bonds which will mature after five years with interest. These funds will go to support the government of Ukraine, so they can continue to support the Ukrainian people. And, US vows to provide $275 million in additional aid. The US will provide $275 million in additional military assistance to Ukraine, including arms, munitions and equipment from its inventories. The latest pledge was confirmed by US Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Friday. Iran has denied Ukrainian and Western accusations that it is supplying drones to Russia. The US has pledged a mammoth amount of money to help the fight against Russia and has enforced a raft of sanctions against Moscow and its assets. Thank you.